What's up, everybody? I am Nick Major, your AP TV Los Angeles correspondent. And next to me, we've got Keith of Every Time I Die. How you doing, man? Good. That's an impressive title. <laughs> Thank you. Not quite as impressive as frontman of Every Time I Die, but... Old singer. You did Warp Tour this summer. Yep. And then after that, was that when you guys went up to Canada? Oh, no. Okay, see, now you're going to talk about my memory. No, we just got back from Canada. We just, we just went to Canada. So let's say when you're like in Canada, it's pretty close, but it's still a different country. What's some stuff that when you're in like a different country that when either you're like, oh, I'm so glad to be away from this. Like I would say if you're going to get sick or get hurt, don't do it in America. Do it in Canada. Yeah, do it. Far. We were trying to get hurt in Canada. Yeah. We're just <laughs> jumping into things. But I feel like you don't. It sounds stupid. You don't know how much you appreciate the internet until you're in Canada and you don't have a phone. And phone. It, at first you're like, this is great. I don't have to worry about texting, phone calling. It's like very nice and it's a simple life. And then the yeah, second you get, yeah, then the second you get the internet, there's, there's, you're like, oh my God, what information have I missed out on? And you're like frantically scrambling to try to get filled in on everything. And then you come back and then the internet's just everywhere. And you're like, oh my God, what a blessing this is. The internet's <laughs> everywhere. You don't have to wait and hope that the club has it. Like, I never want to experience that again. It's a really I always strange feeling to be that addicted to it. Not addicted, just a reliant. And it's yeah. just it's just so convenient the thing that I think has made it so like it's like it's hard to say it's addictive, but it's just so convenient when it's in your yeah. pocket. I and mean, you literally have all the information in the known world at your fingertips. Being a band from like uh, the New York area, the Buffalo area, it's notorious for some harsh kind of winters. Yeah. So you guys got to be preparing for that as of like probably as we speak, there's probably something going on there. So what was it like just before you headed out here? Um, it was actually really warm. I, I had to rake my, my lawn because the fall. I know that game because I grew up in Reno, Nevada yeah. where it snows a lot. Yeah. 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 You got to rake real fast because it, the, the leaves fall and then there's snow, you know, in Buffalo. So I had one day off. I raked my lawn and then I... Uh, you can't just leave those leaves there. Yeah, because here's the thing. What's going to happen is the snow's going to fall on them and it's going to suffocate the grass. And then when the snow melts, you're going to have all these rotting leaves under it and you're going to have no grass. You're going to have to replant everything. So, Apart from being a frontman, you are also a home improvement enthusiast. So, well, Home improvement <laughs> stuff. Not the show so much as the actual activity of home improvement. Yeah, but yeah, you got to take care of your lawn if you have one. You have to take and, care of your lawn. And speaking of... Snow, all this cold weather, the most wonderful time of the year is coming up. Yeah. The, the Christmas time. My father sent me a picture. He's already starting to watch. Today's the first day he started watching National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is a big tradition in, in my parents' home. Uh, it's like his favorite movie. So are you going to be watching that with him when you get back? Is that the uh, always annual tradition? Normally, yeah, that's that's what we do. But uh, he's, it's kind of the point where he's seen it so many times that he's watching it in, in the different languages they offer now. Like he's going to be fluent, but only yeah, in the script. In the script for <laughs> National Christmas <laughs> Vacation, yeah. You're pretty close with your dad, yeah? Because he, he could, could they come out to Warp Tour? They cook wings for you guys? I convinced um, him and my mom to start a food truck. Um, I know it's kind of big right now, and I know they're thinking about retiring, so I think it's just natural that they would just cook their chicken wings and follow you on tour. Tours, yeah, <laughs> it would be perfect. And anybody that has had their wings, I think, would demand it in their town, so mm -hmm. it would be good. What about Christmas shopping? Have you done any of that yet? Because I'm a horrible Christmas shopper. Do you have any tips? I just go online. Just do either. Here's what you do. You either do it online three months before, or you wait till the very last minute and go to the mall. That's what I do, and it never works out well, but I've been doing it for years. I love it because I'm just scrambling, and you're not overthinking anything, and if you see something, you're like, they would like that, you grab it, and then it's like, okay, well, that was, it was just like a natural purchase. You know, you didn't have to, you're not spending all this time wondering what the best thing to get them is. You see it, you buy it. So. They'll, they'll love it either way because it's the thought that counts. Yeah, they'll absolutely love it either way. Yeah. So are you, are you looking forward to rushing out of the freezing New York and going down under after this? Is that going to be, because it's their summer in Australia. I love, going, I love going there in January. Last time we were there in January or or February, it was the hottest day on record in Sydney, Australia. It was 112 degrees. We played outside at like noon. The sun was just beating down upon us, and that was the day I quit smoking because I, I got off stage and went to have a cigarette, and it was just, just so disgusting. It felt like my head was in an oven just breathing the outside air, and I lit up a cigarette. I'm like, this is fucking disgusting, and I never had a cigarette again. So playing outdoor festivals... What is it like nicer to play like the hotter stuff the colder stuff? I've seen you guys play some like gnarly muddy sets before too yeah. So what's it just all depends I guess I mean I, I do like being outside But it, it all depends where we play some freezing ones in Germany that are at night But I do like playing outside to an extent and I like playing inside to an extent We played in Fresno last night and it was like Bodies were like everywhere, you know, and that's that's normally like what I would prefer. Um, is that in like so? That's more of an inside setting, I'm guessing. Yeah, very intimate, very small club, no barricades. It's kind of ideal. Last night it wasn't too ideal because there's just one dude, like one bad apple in the crowd that was just hammered, and he kept 
kept jumping on stage and I have like this huge scratch on his fingernail. Oh, he actually got you. He got me in like here and I, he just kept pulling the microphone away from me and he didn't know the words so it was just it was just annoying but I got, you can't I tell ask, what, what is that like when you're uh, up on stage you're doing your thing and then fans are coming up is that normally an issue to you or do, would you I like it I really do because sometimes it's fun and it's funny and it gives you like a cool little reminder that people are still into it but this guy was a very he was a very rare exception of just super hammered but like wearing every time that I merch, so I like you know you, then you gauge this like you don't want to ruin his experience. Like if what if he grew up listening to us and then all of a sudden I'm like I I, I lose my temper and you know do something bad that makes that ruins his experience and he never likes us again. It's like you gotta kind of I take that stuff. Stay composed. You have to kind of stay composed, but you can also only be attacked for so. I mean he was grabbed like chunks of my hair. See, there's a limit when he's my leaving shirt. marks. Yeah, on you. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> so if you're coming up on stage with Keith, just have fun yeah, and. And know the words yeah, too. That would be a big help. That would be a big help. Yeah. And, and don't be drunk. Well, you can. Just have a nice warm buzz. Don't remind. Be drunk. He was hitting girls too. Oh, that's that's even the limit past scratching Keith. That's yeah, just that's a whole thing in itself. Yeah. yeah. So Keith, thanks again for chatting, telling us about this, the snowy weather's, the Canadian yeah, really, we'll, times. We'll the keep you posted as uh, the tours go on. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Good luck out there. Good luck with uh, Christmas watching National Lampoon. With your father. I'm once again Nick Major, your APTV Los Angeles correspondent at Nick underscore Major. Check out Every Time I Die, their latest album from Parts Unknown, which has been out since, what, July 1st? March. Is that when that dropped? We recorded March, May 1st, I think. That one it was? May June, May. It came out within the last few months on. <laughs> but, uh, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Now go get to your signing. Thanks for chatting, right. man. Have a good night. You too, bye.